man today i'm back with you guys with the nation for another video and today 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 man we got ourselves an interesting one because everybody's trying to make money everybody's franchise tagging people um right before the deadline so there's gonna be some news there's gonna be some players that are gonna pop up on the market that we may not have been expecting to pop up on the market with that being said, before I get into today's video, I have to give a big, big shout out to my guy, Ice Nate, who's always coming in clutch with these thumbnails. So please, if you can, go check my guy out on his YouTube page at Icy underscore Nate. Show him some love. But without further ado, Red Nation, let's get right into today's video. Now, you can see by the title, you can see by the thumbnail, Kyle Van Noy was released by the New England Patriots. And personally, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about this, right? So a couple years ago when he first hit the free agent market with after the Patriots didn't decide to bring him back, he signed a four-year, $51 million deal with the Dolphins. Dolphins, I mean, hey, they ended up releasing him before he can get into his second year. And honestly, he had a great year with the Dolphins, six and a half sacks, over 60 tackles, very good player. Not sure why they did that, but hey. I'm glad he's back on the open market, and with today, the New England Patriots releasing him, I'm going to give you a rundown on Kyle Van Noy. Starting off with his 2021 season stats with the New England Patriots, recording 66 tackles, 5 sacks, 2 forced fumbles, 1 interception, 10 pass deflections. We're going to talk about that later. And a pick 6. I like this, man. I like this. I really, really hope the Raiders can get in. On the on on Kyle Van Noy's market, um, I think I believe I heard that the man is from Nevada. So I mean, maybe there's some ties there. Maybe, maybe not. But the biggest tie is guess what? General Manager Dave Ziegler, offensive coordinator, um, and head coach Josh McDaniels. Hey man, they both spent numerous years with this guy on their roster, and I'm sure they will be looking at Kyle Van Noy as a potential guy to bring in this free agency period. Now. One thing to look at when you're looking at Kyle Vinoy and potentially bringing him in, he's not part of your future. He's a great player. He's a seasoned veteran, but he will be answering the season at 31 years of age. Not really the guy that you're going to build around. You're going to use him. You're going to maybe get one, maybe two good seasons out of him before he decides to call it quits and hang up the boots. But, hey, man, if you can get two good years out of a seasoned vet like Kyle Vinoy, I think you did wonders. I think you did a good job. So I'm not personally – too worried about the age side of things because this isn't a guy that's injury prone, but he's extremely versatile. And guess what? That's exactly what we need in Patrick Graham's system. We need versatility all over the board. And personally, I felt like we needed a guy very similar to Kyle Van Noy in this defense. So with that being said, let me talk about it. Kyle Van Noy is a guy. He's an outside linebacker. He can pass rush. He can drop into coverage. Guess what? We don't have that kind of guy on the roster. Yann Kingakwe is not that guy. Malcolm Cooks maybe could become that guy, but he is not that guy. Um, Carl Nassib is not that guy. Cleveland Furrow is not that guy. Max Crosby is not that guy that can pass rush and drop back into a coverage consistently. Kyle Van Noy is that guy, man. Like I said, 10 pass deflections. Um, some of you guys may be saying, well, oh, he could do that at the line of scrimmage. No, eight of those 10. We're in coverage. This man can drop into coverage, guard the flats. He's not a liability. He is a very, very good player. So with that being said, with Patrick Graham being our new defensive coordinator, as we see, as we do our homework on Patrick Graham's system, he had Aziz Ojalari, a guy that can pass rush and occasionally drop back into coverage. We didn't have that on this roster. With him being released, I would honestly take heavy consideration into Kyle Van Noy. He's a guy, like I said, 31 years of age, but, hey, he can still ball. Personally, I feel like he's a guy that got better with age. Once he left Detroit after spending four or three to four years in Detroit, he took off 
with with the New England Patriots, and he did amazing things over there. Left to the Dolphins, still put up almost seven sacks and a and and a good good amount of stats. But he came back to the Patriots, spent the last season there, and he's now on the open market again. Would you guys bring in Kyle Van Noy? Me personally, definitely, I would love to bring in Kyle Van Noy. But there's another person on the free agent market. Hopefully, he hits the free agent market. Um, that I really, really want to look into. And I will bring you guys a video about possible outside linebacker positions that can pass rush and drop back into the coverage with Patrick Graham's new system. But Red Nation, that'll be it for today's video. Always let me know in the comment section down below. Did you like the video? What do you need? What, what do you, what more content do you want from me? What kind of content, what style? But as usual, let me know in the comment section down below. Would you guys bring in Kyle Van Noy? Is Kyle Van Noy a guy that you want to be a Las Vegas Raider, me personally, yes, 10 out of 10. Go grab him if the price is right. Sign him up. Sign him up. He's a perfect scheme fit. I would love to see him in the silver and black. Hey, he could potentially mold a guy like Malcolm Koontz to play the role that he plays once he ends up hanging it up, hanging it up and uh, retiring. So me personally, I'm all for bringing in a guy like Kyle Van Noy. I love it. Please, come on, Raiders, do your thing. But, Red Nation, that will be it for today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. On the road to 4,000 subscribers, we are oh so very close. Show me some love, man. But I'm out. Peace.